Hello there guys, I'd like to say a big thank you to each and every one of you for all the support you've given me so far in this series and to my 50 subscribers who've made this video happen. A few days ago I also hit 2000 on the views cam, so again thanks everyone. Anyway, for this 50 subscriber special I'm bringing out one of the largest land based weapons of World War 2 and this is the German Krupp K5 railway gun called Leopold. Leopold was one of the 25 of these giant guns produced by the Nazis during World War II. These guns served on the frontiers of France, Russia and also Italy. They fired shells 28.3 centimetres in calibre, or 11.1 inches, and could pump these out at a rate of 15 rounds an hour at a maximum range of 40 miles or 60 kilometres. Three were installed on the coast of France to fire on uh, British shipping coming down the English Channel and uh, I think they also shelled Dover quite a lot. Uh, two of these still survive today. The Leopold is in the United States Ordnance Museum in America and another uh, Krupp K5 can be found in the Battery Todd, <laughs> I think that's actually how it's pronounced, the Battery Todd Museum in northern France. So uh, we've got two camouflages we can do the Leopold in. The, uh, this doesn't have to specifically be the Leopold because all the Krupp K5 guns were basically the same. And uh, we've got this standard grey camouflage which is 100% historical. And uh, then we've also got the camouflage the Leopold is in today. And this is uh, a sort of mod Mediterranean, not Mediterranean, a Mediterranean camouflage in which I think it was found because uh, the Allies came across the uh, Leopold in Italy and then it was moved to the US. Anyway, uh, there's basically no difference between these two uh, guns. I'll be making the grey one in the tutorial, but if you want to make uh, this one, then just make a birch wood version of this and then apply the jungle wood as a camouflage. But anyway, yep, yeah, let's make the Krupp K5 Leopold railway gun. Okay, so this is the basic track design and what we're going to do is we're just going to replicate this and make it 47 blocks long in total. Uh, well it doesn't have to be 47 blocks long exactly it doesn't really matter how long the railway track is just as long as it uh, as the railway gun can fit on it and uh, now we'll just do the uh, track bed uh, to either side of the railway tracks We'll add the sleepers in a minute, but first we'll just add the rest of the track bed in between the rails and everything. So we're leaving gaps every one block for the sleepers to be added. And I've just realised that should uh, hang on. What I should have done just because I'm a bit OC about this, is start the tracks with the track bed and then the sleeper and then just go from there. Oops. So yeah, just leave the gaps for the sleepers like that, pretty simple. And finally add the sleepers.
And now with the track section done, we can start on the first part of the Leopold railway gun, which are the railway bogies. They sort of look like the little railway wagons beneath the uh, gun, but the technical term for them is bogies. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do is count, let's see, six blocks in from the front of the track bed here, if you want to be exact. One, two, three, four, five, six. So leave a six block gap between this block here on the rails and the front of the track bed and railway track. So you got your first block and then just place another one on the other rail, then leave a two block gap, then place another block, then leave a one block gap, place another block, and then once again a two block gap and then another block. And just do the same for the other side. So these are gonna be the wheels of the bogies. Then we've got to add one more wheel in this two block gap. And to do that, we're just adding upside down steps like that. And do the same for all the uh, two block gaps. All right, and now we're going to add slabs just across the front here, overhanging. This is going to be the front of your gun. Uh, and then just fill the rest of this in with slabs, but don't build a slab overhang at the back of this bogey. Right, and uh, at the front, just place uh, steps across the front, and then another layer of slabs on top. That's the first bogey done, so now we're going to uh, do the other one. So uh, count 15 blocks uh, away from the end of the first bogey. And so you've got a 15 block gap between the two bogies. I think that's 15, let me just count that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, I was right. Okay, and so basically we're just building what we did there, except the front of the bogey will be facing that way. So place your two blocks, leave a two block gap, then a one block gap, then a two block gap, and then an overhang of slabs here and then do the middle wheels and then fill it all in with slabs unlike the last bogey though uh, we're not adding the steps at the uh, front just place slabs across the whole of the top Okay, and uh, the center, this one block gap here, is more or less the center of the bogey. And in line with this, we're just going to add a single slab in the middle. This will be where we're going to add the giant sort of uh, gondola, which holds the gun. So just add a slab there, and also here. And now we'll move on to the uh, gondola. Okay, so either end of the gondola is going to go on top of these slabs here and over here at the back and what you're going to do is basically just connect them Right, and then we've got to uh, shape up the lower part of the gondola, like you see on the gun over there. So, uh, one block, oops, oh, uh, it appears one of my buttons have stuck, hang on. There we go. Uh, right, um, yeah. So, one block behind the uh, uh, front gondola, the bogey here, uh, just count one block away, and then make a three times three uh, slab square. 
and then behind this slab square a 3 times 3 block square then another 3 times 3 block square except underneath the second uh, block square place slabs a uh, 3 times 3 slab square so it should look like that and then a 2 times 3 block rectangle and then a 2 times 3 slab rectangle like that and uh, that's the basic gondola done so now we'll go on to adding the gun to it just to avoid any confusion during the tutorial uh, and uh, just so a couple of you don't build the gun back to front this is the front of the gun here where the steps are across the bogey I know I've said this already but I just need to make that absolutely clear because otherwise you could end up building this back to front and uh, well let's just say it wouldn't be fun having to rebuild the whole thing so anyway this is the front of your gun and I'll shut up now and uh, we'll start adding the gun but uh, before we can add the gun we're gonna need these sort of uh, hinges that the gun barrel pivoted on so counting in 14 blocks from the front of the gondola here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 on the 15th block add steps like that and then add steps facing the opposite way like that and uh, now we can add the uh, gun barrel so count two blocks uh, away towards the back of the uh, gondola so one two and on this block here add chiseled stone bricks I've used these because they look like the gun breach where you uh, shove the shells in and then just add one block in front and from this point onwards we're just going to go up half a block every two blocks like this until uh, we come to the end of the gun barrel uh, we'll come to that in a second just keep building okay so the gun barrel should end uh, one so the end of the gun barrel here should end just in front of the uh, bogey here like that and uh, now we've added the gun we'll start adding a few more extra details so we'll just add the uh, iron bars along the whole of the front of the gondola like this also add uh, ladders across the front like that and also a single uh, stone brick slab here this was uh, in real life a gun lock so when the gun hinged down during transport uh, it would uh, rest on this sort of block and uh, also add railings across the front bogey here I call them railings like you can call them iron bars call them what you like anyway uh, behind the gun pivot here we're gonna add four more railings either side leave a one block gap and then add another four and this one block gap is for the ladders here and here also uh, on the block just behind the uh, gun breech break it and add steps just so there's this sort of uh, drop just before you get to the gun breech now uh, we're going to add the uh, rear part of the uh, Leopold this is where they loaded all the shells so going to break these slabs across the rear bogey here and replace them with steps like that and do the same for the other side and then just build on these slabs in the middle and then just build two blocks upwards in the middle like that and then upside down steps on top and uh, between these uh, sets of steps add cobblestone wall like this it just adds a bit more thickness to the uh, to the sort of shape which was uh, which is a bit more to scale then I guess we'll add the gun at the very back so that's going to be in the middle then you're just going to place one block then chiseled stone bricks then a slab on top and then just slabs going upwards like this then add two railings either side of the crane 
and also get yourself some uh, jungle fence and also railway track. On the first cobblestone uh, wall block here, break it and replace it with the fence and also build two fences on top. Do the same for the other side and then leave a one block gap from the front of the crane here and build railway track all the way to the gun barrel. Now the thing about the Leopold is it's a big gun so it fires very big shells and these shells were so heavy that they required a small uh, miniature railway to move them from the crane here to the gun breech and uh, this crane would presumably swivel round and take more shells from a railway wagon or something below or the ground or a truck or something and uh, yeah you probably want to add a minecart to finish it off as well are there any more details to add yes there are so over here uh, just past the uh, lowest part of the gondola here we're going to add sticking out slabs like this and then two blocks above another sticking out slab and this was I'm not quite sure what exactly this was but someone stood here and fiddled with controls or something but uh, these did fold down and basically uh, disappear so if you don't like these sticking out on your Leopold you don't have to have them but I'm adding them for the sake of completeness you also add them to the other side and is there anything else I have forgotten detail wise before we move on to the next thing um, nope okay so another thing about the Leopold is it had a sort of uh, trench uh, for the gun here um, actually I'm not quite sure how I made that I'm just going to pause the video and uh, go and have a quick look okay so uh, count two blocks in front of the front of the gun pivot here and then break seven blocks towards the front of the uh, gondola that's six that's seven and uh, over here we're going to count two blocks in now we're going towards the end of the Leopold and break all of these blocks again and then add two slabs here so it should be going down half a block and uh, two blocks up anyway you can see so now we'll add the sort of if I can get out of here this uh, the Leopold's uh, sort of I don't know the mechanism which held the gun up so the first thing we're going to do is just add steps there and then count two blocks away and add upside down steps here and also here having broken that slab to fit the steps and then just go under here and on the uh, second upside down steps here there's the first second add upside down steps again and then upside down steps again and I'll just uh, go out so you can see what we've done that's pretty much it feel free to pause this and have a look if you're not quite sure um, and now I guess we'll add the railway buffers we'll use a safe head and to get this head you're going to type out this command uh, slash give use your own username because this is obviously mine skull one three skull over and apart from obviously the username copy this command out word for word because it's very sensitive and just add the two railway buffers here and here really actually on the Leopold the buffers should be up here if you were to uh, work with scale but these slabs don't look particularly great so I'm just adding the heads down here doesn't really matter and also add them on the rear bogey here and here now have I actually finished the Leopold it doesn't it feels like there should be more to it but I think I've actually finished it yeah I think I finished it Okay, so that was the Leopold tutorial done. Hope you enjoyed this 50 subscriber special guys, and if so, please leave it a like or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because when I get 100 subscribers, I plan on releasing Series 3 of the World War II tutorial series, and Series 3 will contain naval ships, 
uh, U-boats, submarines, destroyers, corvettes, motor gun boats, motor torpedo boats. Not so sure about battleships, but it'll still contain an awful lot of ships. And if you'd like to see that, then uh, help us get there and hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to see a particular World War II creation in this series, put a request for one in the comments below and I'll see what I can do for you. And uh, yeah, that's all from me today, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.